My name is Al Seco. I'm here to give the final Ignite talk, and it's about the theme of uh, this whole Zeitgeist conference, which is mind sh shift. Innovation, creativity, thought, understanding the constraints of the system, knowing how to break through those constraints of the system. And mind shifts require startling transformations. They also require startling changes in behavioral action. You can have all the changes in thought, but unless you get people to qualitatively change their behavior as well, you won't have those transformations. It's about overcoming what was seemingly the impossible with new perspectives and reaching new heights. These are the things about transformation, about mind shifts. It's about looking for the underlying uh, commonalities when things appear to be dissimilar. Hold up your fingers like this and cover up the middle section of those two blocks and you'll see that they are identical. Remove your finger, they appear dissimilar. It's about confronting your perception versus reality. The two tabletops appear to be dissimilar in size and shape even though they're identical. Even though you may know that they're identical. We can measure them. You can measure their length. You'll see that they're identical. You can measure also their width. And even though you're intellectually able to see that you're being tricked, you can't overcome it. So it's about perception. All mind shift is about perception. You can measure their width. And also, as I say, see that those two tabletops are identical. So it's about confronting your own perceptions worths versus reality. So here, even though you know they're the same, you still see them as dissimilar. So there's a split between your conception of something and your perception of something. And it doesn't matter how smart you are, your background, your gender. It's about understanding the importance of context. I'm passionate about education. The importance of teaching how to think rather than not what just to think. The importance of teaching what to think, how to think rather than what to think. And that proper context is the most important element of information. Here you have two identical silhouettes of horses. It's also about understanding how little it takes to bias your perception. Here they're identical. All I can do is add two small lines and you'll see it doesn't take a lot to switch your perception. Now the two horses appear to be facing in two different directions. Not a lot of information, and look how quickly your brain is biased in a different direction, just by adding context. Here we have two identical gray squares. They're identical. I'm going to add a little bit of context, and they will appear to be quite dissimilar. It'll, one square will be light, and one square will be dark. And it'll be coming on. Now, if we can point out which square, the square in the shadow, is identical to the square in the outside the shadow. But they're identical. And even though you know that they're identical, you can't see them that way. Here we have two identical brown squares. Just color your perceptions a little bit. So I'm going to add some context here, and you'll perceive those two squares as different. So those two squares are actually identical in color, even though you perceive them very differently. So context can really switch your perceptions. It's understanding these concepts. This is an actual homework assignment handed in by an eight-year-old child uh, to the assignment, what do you want to be when you grow up? What is mommy here? Do you see all the cash that the people are having? What is mommy? Everyone, come on. So pole dancer, let's read the, the letter from the, the parent. Dear Miss Jones, I wish to clarify that I am not now, nor have I ever been, an exotic dancer. I work at Home Depot, and I told my daughter how hectic it was last week before the blizzard hit. I told her how we had sold out every single snow shovel, and that was the last one. All right? So our expectations can go here, and reality is over here. So reality is that which exists independently of your perceptions or belief, and your perception may be aligned with reality, and then it may not be, and you wouldn't know. Perception versus reality. How do you perceive yourself? How do others perceive you? And for those who are, since this audience is a lot of branding and marketing people, it's not just about the technology. It's about the client. 
well, how do the clients see themselves? What do they need? So all this technology, it always has to come back to the consumer. And this is all part of a simple but deeper argument that perhaps your own worldview is preventing you from seeing, recognizing, and internalizing some ideas that fall outside of your own world or ones that you think may be different from the way others that you think they may be true. Anyway, that's a mind shift. Thank you very much.